Hi everyone, welcome to TFX Home Invasion brought to you by True Fitness and TFX. I'm Selena, and for the next 20 minutes, let me take you through some Pilates workout. Alright? So, come sit with me. We're going to take some breaths. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and out. You breathe in through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Now, breathing is really important part of Pilates. You're going to use your breath to execute every move. Exhale, fill your lungs completely all the way to the back of your ribs. Exhale by squeezing your abdominals. Give me a couple more breaths in and breath out. And you're going to use this kind of breathing throughout. Yes? And exhale. So come with me, sit to the side, facing me. We're going to do some spine stretches. So sit with your knees at the width apart with the feet grounded. Lengthen up the spine, breathe in. Imagine as the string is pulling you all the way up to the ceiling. And then exhale, I want you to round the back up. Like something is pushing into your belly and something is pulling your back all the way to the back. Lengthen up the spine, pulling the string all the way up to the ceiling. Exhale. And again, breath in. And breath out. A little more. And exhale. When you breathe, you notice the chest lifted, but don't arch that back. So lift the chest without arching that back. Without flaring your ribs, we lengthen up the spine. Round the spine to stretch it. Lengthen. And stretch. Two more. Exhale. And one more time. And exhale. And finish off with one breath up. Now we're going to face to the front. Legs extended to the front. With hip width apart. Now I'm going to give you two choices. You can keep your arms in front of you. Alright, keeping your elbows up. Or you may want to choose to lengthen up your arms to the side. So when you lengthen your arms to the side, keep it right here. Try not to move your arms in any way with this direction, right? Now you can try with this first and later on we can try with the arms extended to the side. So lengthen up your arm, uh, your spine all the way. Now keep the chest lifted, we're going to come to a spine twist, right? Straighten up the legs, flex the feet, breathe in. And you're going to breathe out as you turn your body. You're starting with the shoulders to the right. Hold. Now give me a breath in to lengthen up your spine. This time you're going to rotate from the wrist. Small range towards the right. Now hold that hip still. And then you rotate even more, twisting, turning from the waist. So the range is really small right here. So watch your feet. Make sure that your legs are one, not one longer than the other. And then come back to the front. Breath in to lengthen your spine. Breath out, return to the left now. Hold, lengthen your spine. Turn with the wrist. Hold, lengthen your spine even more. Comes from the waist. But your arms are still technically in front of your chest. And come back to where you came from. Now you can stay with the arms stacked to the front or you can choose to extend your arms nice and long. Roll the shoulders back, keep the chest lifted without arching the back. Same thing. We're going to turn to the right from the shoulders. Continue turning from the ribs. Continue turning from the waist. Ensure that your legs are not one longer than the other. Keep challenging yourself by twisting without moving the hips. Arms are technically still by the side of your body. And release. Again, lengthen up your spine, turn to the left. Keep turning from the ribs to the waist. Are your arms still by the side of the body? Like an arrow plane. And come back to the center. Breath in. One more time to the right. Keep twisting. Hold that hip still. And come back to the center. One more to the left. Lengthen. 
and chest. And come back to the center. And roll the arms. Roll the shoulders forward and back. Now set your feet slightly wider now. Turn this a wee bit wider. Look up to your sock. Alright? So extend your arms. Place the back of your left hand against the side of your right leg. So lengthen up your spine as you sit tall. Breathe in. Now let your right arm sit to the back. Now breath in. As you breathe out, lower your body, keep the chest lifted, lower your body, bringing your hand towards your foot. If you can go beyond, go ahead. Otherwise, even if you come to the center of the legs, just go as much as you can. But you want to keep that chest lifted and back straight. Once you got to the lowest point that you are at, twist your right shoulder back without moving your head. Breathe in. As you breathe out, twist your right shoulder even more without compromising that hips. Hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Breathe. Same thing, the back of your right hand placed by the side of your left leg. Breath in, lengthen up your spine. Breath out, lower the body down towards your left leg. Lengthen up your spine. Sweep your left arm back. Breath in, breath out as you push your left shoulder back. Bring your hands beyond your foot if you can. Otherwise, stay here. You will find that rotation from the center of the body. Stay here for 10. Now, keep pressing the foot. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Recover. Sit with the side facing me. We're going to do the roll up. So bend your knees, hold the back of your legs, round the back, tuck the tailbone under, and slowly round yourself still. Extend your legs. Extend your arms to the side. Now from here, flex your feet. Raise your arms as you exhale to the sky. Squeeze your abdominals and begin to roll up. Right here. Round the back, point your toes, and slowly roll the cells down. Arms all the way to the back. Flex your feet, exhale, lift, and up. Round your back, on your toes, and roll back down. Inhale, exhale, lift, sit up, on your toes, and roll back down. A couple more, flex, exhale, lift, round the back. Tuck the tailbone under. Last one, flex your feet. That's it. And slowly round the back. Roll it back down. Good. Now, this time around, we're going to reverse it. So come with me. We're going to just prepare ourselves for the next move. So set your feet up. Place your hands down by the side of your palms facing down. Okay? So what I need you to do is nearly pick your butt up without throwing the legs up. So very gently you pick the leg, pick the butt up and down. So it's going to be a very small movement as you engage your lower abdominals. So pick the legs up and down. So we don't want to do this. We're not going to throw the legs up we're going to lift that butt up. Be mindful not to lift the shoulder at the same time. So we're not talking about lifting the shoulders up. We're talking about lifting the butt up. Okay? So keep pressing the hands down. This will help you to lift that butt up. Now I want you to very gently pick the butt a little higher each time as you draw the legs 
closer to your chest. Yeah? So lips up and down. Pick it up. So you want to squeeze your lower abdominals and pick the legs up. Alright? You ready for more? So we're going to do the same movement. Pick the butts up and we're going to bring the legs up and roll back. And now we can go all the way back to bring the feet down to the floor. If you can't reach, it's okay. Stay here. Now once you got here, you can slowly roll down without lifting your shoulders and head up. So very, very lots of engagement from the core to bring your legs back to where it came from. Try again. Inhale. Exhale. So draw your legs close and pick those legs up. Alright? So you can go all the way down with the toes touching. That'll be good. Otherwise, stay here and slowly roll it back down. Now I'm going to give you an option. Some of you may have problem picking those back up. So the option is you can sit, place your hands down, slowly drop yourself back. Be careful with that head. Slowly drop yourself, lift the legs up, and swing the legs up, and then roll back down to sit up. So this will be your option to help you sort of like bounce the way back. But otherwise, we will do a few more on here. So keep practicing, lifting the butt up. You can use the option to bring the legs all the way back. Then give it two more times right here. Inhale, exhale, roll the back. Hold. Now very gently, one body body is going to touch the floor one at a time. And come back to where you came from, show the stage grounded. Inhale, exhale, last one. One body body at a time, touch the floor, and release. We're extending the arms and legs and give yourself a good stretch. Alright, so come here. We're going to bring your legs right here to 90 degrees. Alright, so just extend one leg up. So we're going to work on that uh, one leg drop. So bring your legs up, holding onto your knees, shin, or your ankle, wherever you can reach, okay? So if your hamstrings are really tight, maybe your legs are right here, so you hold on to the knee. Otherwise, bring it all the way up, straighten up the other legs, pick your shoulders off, right? So you don't want to be using your hands to pull that leg. So you're going to use your abs to lift those chest up, okay? So inhale, we're going to switch legs, exhale. Alright, inhale, exhale, we're going to one leg drop here, and down. Give me two more, right here, and switch. One more time, and switch. We go for pulses. Four pulses, in four, three, two, one, and switch. In four, three, two, one, and again, four, three, two, one in four, three, two, last one right here, and one more on your left, three, two, and one. All right, give yourself a good stretch right here. Okay, so put your arms down, bring your knees up, roll the cells up. Okay, come on to your fours. We're going to come on to your four point. Now set your arms directly beneath your shoulders and your knees are directly beneath your hips. Now draw the bellies in so that your back is straight. So try not to arch that back. You want to be careful to protect that lower back. So you want to keep it back straight. Chest is lifted. So we're going to do a little bit of back work here. Extend your right arm and your left leg. Okay? So very slowly maintain this posture. With the side, bring your arms slightly to the side as you open up that leg to the side. 
and come back to the center. Good. Breath out. And breathe in. Maintain your posture as you draw that belly skin. Keep the back straight. Three more exhale. And inhale. Two. Alright. And you're shaking, but it's okay. One. Good. Let's switch over the other side. Set knees down, directly beneath the hips. Belly is in, back is straight. We go exhale up and in. Belly is strong right into the spine to keep the back straight. In three. In two. And one. Good. Set the feet down and your legs down, your arms down. This time we're going to do what we call the scorpion. Alright? Whichever leg, I'm going to start with my right leg. Okay? So we're going to pick the right leg up. Draw the bellies into the spine. Then shape, maintain that back straight. Knees, I want you to pick it up. Point the toes to the back. To the left, to the ceiling. So up. Be careful not to arch that back. Pick it up in five. Four. Three, two, and one, switch side. Ready? Point those toes in the air. Ten. Now, draw the bellies in. Maintain a straight back. Chest is lifted. In five, four, three, two, and one. Done. Push your butts all the way back. Give it a nice, good child pose. Alright, we're going to come onto your belly. We're going to work more on your back. So lie down on your belly. Bring the feet together. Make sure that your heels are touching. Toes are touching. Alright, point your toes. Squeeze your glutes. Maintain the lower legs. I mean, maintain the legs very, very still. We'll bring your hands right here. Alright, bring your nose to the mat and just immediately listen to my voice. So from here, we're going to lift your head up. Okay? Keep the chest on the floor. Squeezing the mid back and lower back to lift that head up. And slowly lower down your head. You're going to keep engaging the abs, okay? Squeeze the lower back and pick the head up. And down. Try one more time. Exhale. And down. This time around, I want you to extend your arms all the way up to the front. Together with your arms and legs, we're going to lift. And down. Lift up. And down. Three more. Three. And down. Two more to go. Lift as high as you can. Squish your glutes. Work that lower back. Last one. I'm going to add on. Down. Lift. Now I'm going to draw and roll your elbows back. Lift the chest even more. Extend. And bring it down. Lift. Yeah, use your breath. We have three more just like that. Exhale, lift. Pull your elbows back as you squeeze your shoulder blades together. Two more. And draw it back. And one more last time. Okay, I want you to extend your arms and hold it right here. Squeeze your hands together in ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Lift your chest high up, don't drop. Three, two, and one. All right, push your butts back. Chop those. Give us a good stretch here.
But I hope you have enjoyed that workout, right? Totally focusing on that core. You should feel a really good, nice, and a uh, bite right around here, right? So if you have enjoyed this class, do check out on our uh, True Fitness uh, True social media pages with more workouts for you, right? Till the next time I see you again. So stay safe, take care of yourself. See ya.